Hey guys, Top Pops here, and today I've got all of these packages from the Funko Shop, and then this one down here, which I have no clue where it's from. So, uh, anyways, guys, let's get started. All right, so I think because I don't know where this one's from, it did say on the side, let me move these guys over. So these are all ones that I wanna open up. These are random Funko Shop packages that I have. And then there's also another one in here as well from like Foot Locker or something like that. I don't know exactly, but anyways, I'm pretty excited to open these things up. Some of them I have no clue what they are. This one might be from like GameStop or something like that. But uh, yeah, let's get uh, started with this, this one here maybe. But yeah, this one here is one from, it says Spastic Pops and I didn't order anything from there, so it could be something cool inside, I don't know. But yeah, like I said, let's get started with this one right here. Okay, so this for sure is a Funko Shop one. This is a more recent one that I just got at the post office. I think it was last Friday, maybe, or the Friday that just passed. I'm pretty sure this, if I'm not mistaken, is Pez. And these right here sold out really quickly. It looks like it's Pez inside, at least from what I saw. Anyways, yeah, these things sold out, I think in like five minutes, maybe three, I don't know, something like that. This is like the quickest I've seen a Pez sell out in a long time. So let's check this out here and see what it is. Yeah, this is it. Okay, cool, so this is sweet. Let me take them all out here. There's three of them. Um, you guys probably know what they are if you guys are on top of the whole Funko Shop releases, but these right here are pretty exciting. I guess we'll just start with this one here, and I hope they make more of these guys as well. Um, but this right here is, yes, there it is, guys. There's the Zerg Pop Pez. This is limited to 1,500 pieces, this one right here. That is super cool. So I'm going to probably keep these guys inside of the boxes only because of how limited they are. 1,500 pieces is hard to come by, especially when it comes to Pez. And if it sells out quick, I know a lot of people are probably going to keep these in box. Some of you guys, some of you crazy people that order these might take them out. But for me, I'm keeping them in there because those are just too nice to take out. Also, at home, I was thinking, because I have a couple shelves there from when I used to have the pops in my room, I might turn that into like a Pez display because right now they're just kind of sitting in a box in the other room. I think it'd be really cool if I could do that. I might. Um, if you guys would like to see a video on me like modeling and remodeling my room doing that, let me know. We could totally do that. But let's get onto this one here, which is, ooh, that's Chuckles right there. Okay, this one's neat. And this one here is this one was an exclusive to a convention. I don't remember which convention. I believe it might've been San Diego, if I'm not mistaken, last year. Um, but this is such a cool figure. I like this one a lot. And this is the updated version of Zerg on this Pez here. I just thought of that. So I wonder if they're gonna be making a new one soon. Um, because you guys can see, this is what the original Zerg Glam looked like. And then this is the new one here with the better face and like a nicer eyes and stuff like that. So I wonder if they're gonna be making new ones of that. I don't know, but uh, let's get onto this one here, which is, oh, this one's great. Okay, this one right here, came out around the same time as Zerg actually and this is Lotso. They never made a new Lotso because they made um, this one when the movie came out so uh, they didn't really have to make a new one for the movie later on. I don't know. Anyway, so here it is right here guys. I hope they do make a new version of Zerg and Lotso because these are like updated versions of the Pops um, and they look really great. So anyways, there's the three that I got from the Pez. You had to order them separately too and there was also some Hanna-Barbera ones as well. I think I have that box in the other room. We'll open it up some other time. But uh, yeah, I couldn't order all of them in one order. I had to do two separate orders. So we've got two different boxes of that. So I thought we'd throw one Pez into this video and then maybe another box of Pez in the next one. All right, so next up, let's go with this one here. I'm a little worried about this box only because it got really crushed. It kind of looks like an accordion at this point. You guys can see there it's all crushed up in this corner and it doesn't sound like there's too much packing in here. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that this came in all right. This is my order from GameStop and I've only really ordered one thing from GameStop recently. I usually buy most of it in stores, but I don't think I ever saw this one in stores or I missed it. Like sometimes my uh, GameStop sells out of stuff pretty quick because I usually go on Fridays. Um, so when, you know, I can't make it during the week, um, this stuff tends to go. So yeah, it's looking pretty good so far. Okay, so what I ordered was the Mandalorian no stripes. Now I got a medium t-shirt because I there was no large or extra large t-shirt on the website. So I just got a medium version of it and I really only wanted the pop anyways. Um, I do have another version of this one which is the Mandalorian. I'd have to find that one. I don't know where it went. Um, but I do have another one of this. There's a Mandalorian with, um, it's an EB Games exclusive. I don't know if it's the same figure or a different one. I'll have to check that. But anyways, here's the box. The only noticeable crease I see is this right here. So fingers crossed it's just the t-shirt and the pops on the bottom and then it should be completely fine because again like I said the t-shirt uh, does not matter because it's a different size than what I normally wear and you can't ruin a t-shirt from crushing a box so anyways let's see if it's okay 
And yes, t-shirt was on the top. Okay, perfect. So I'm sure the pop is gonna be okay. Also, I wanna see if there's a difference between that pop that I got at EB Games and this one here. I think there is, I'm just not sure. So this is the Death Watch Mandalorian, no stripes. So I think the other one might have two stripes on his suit there. I'm not exactly sure, but let me grab it real quick to see if they are different. Okay, okay, so this one here is the Death Watch Mandalorian, two stripes. Is it really the same besides that? Yes. I believe so. So the only difference is that there's two stripes on this one and no stripes on this one. It's a small, small change, but I'm trying to get all the Mandalorian pops, so I had to get this one. And this is 354 and this is 361, so they are different for sure. Oh, also, if you guys want to see the shirt that it is, I can show you it. It's just a bunch of different um, of the Death Watch Mandalorians on there. I like it because it's a light blue shirt, but uh, yeah, that looks really great there. I think there's four of them on there. Do some of them have stripes and some of them don't? I can't really tell I think that's what it is but uh, it's still a really great shirt now after that I've got two more packages here one of them is not from the Funko shop I actually have no clue what this is I think if I'm not mistaken this is the one from Foot Locker but it doesn't say on the top so we're just gonna open this up and see what it is because I'm pretty excited about it uh, this right here I've only ordered one thing from Foot Locker recently and I'd have to check to see how much it was because I got it for a good deal I think let me see here this is from Foot Locker okay cool I don't think there's a bill in here which is too bad I couldn't tell how much I ordered this for but if I'm not mistaken, I believe it was, I want to say $10 instead of like $15, um, which is a pretty good deal considering I didn't know this was still on the website. I've been wanting this one for a while, looking around at different Foot Lockers, and finally they had it on their website again, on sale as well, so it's great. So now I have every single pop artist with the Jean-Michel Basque. Uh, Jean-Michel Basquiat, I believe it is, or Jean-Michel, anyways, is what I usually say, because I don't usually say his last name. Um, but yes, I believe he is French, if I'm not mistaken, so let me know how to pronounce his last name in the comment section below. But this is number two in the pop artist line. So now there's this one, there is uh, Leonardo da Vinci, there's Vincent Van Gogh, and then there's Keith Haring. So the first two they had was actually at New York Comic Con, and it was Keith Haring, and then this one right here. So I'm super excited about getting all four of them now. Um, so I've got a complete set so far, and I'm hoping they do make more, because there would be cool to see maybe like, uh, what was one that I really wanted? It was Ron English would be a cool one. Another one would be Futura, mostly because Funko actually has done collaborations with both of those. I'd love to see both of those into pop form. All right, guys, let's open up this next Funko Shop one here because I, I don't know, I order so many different Funko Shop things because I love to get most of their exclusives. Most of the exclusives that I really like are from the Funko Shop as well, so it's nice to kind of order them from there because it's easy half the time. Uh, it's just sad when you miss like an ad icon here or there like the toucan, but uh, what can you do? Um, this right here, let me see if it says, oh, I didn't know this was in yet. Huh. All right, I'm okay with it. Well, anyways, guys, this is one that I didn't realize I even got in yet. Let's check this out and see what he looks like. See what it looks like. I don't want to say he or she yet. Um, yeah, this is a really cool figure. So, this is the Pop Myths line Medusa number 22. That's pretty cool. There it is right there, guys. There is the Medusa. It actually, she looks a little bit lighter on the pop than it is on the box. I don't know if that's on purpose, but it looks like most of them were from the shots that I saw. Um, it's still a really great figure. Um, I just noticed that she has two earrings as well as a nose piercing, which is some great detail on the figure. The tongue is also kind of in the shape of a snake tongue as well, which looks really great. Overall, just an amazing figure. Also, she even has arrows in her like snake tails on her body there, which is really cool. A lot of great detail on this figure. I love the myth slime. I have every single one so far, except for the blue and green Bigfoot. That's the only one I'm missing. And then I have all of them. And then the new Loch Ness Monster coming out to Emerald City Comic Con as well. So, fingers crossed I can get all of those. Um, but yeah, this is a really cool figure, and I'm glad that I picked this one up. Alright guys, so now we have one more package, and it's this big one down here from Spastic Pop. And uh, we're going to see what this thing is. I honestly have no clue. I didn't know um, that they were sending anything, nor did I order anything. So let's just see what's in here. And uh, I mean, whatever it is, is going to be amazing. Ooh, I see a sticker, which is nice. It's always nice to get stickers. It's always fun. I'll put that, I'll have to put that one on my sticker wall. Why isn't this cutting? All right, guys, so let's see what this says. Okay, here, let me check this out. It says here, Top Pops, just saw your fake Funko Pops found in the dollar store video and heard you mention that you wanted this awesome piece. So we've sent th this surprise to you as a thank you from Spastic Collectibles for always doing your best to inform and protect our Funko family. Thanks very much for all you do. Amy, Curtis, Ralphie, and Randy um, from SpasticCollectibles.com. And then thank you so much for this, guys. Also, they sent over one of their stickers, so I'll have to put this up on the sticker wall. This is a pretty cool sticker. I like that. So there it is right there, guys. Spastic Collectibles. Now, let's
let's see what figure they sent over. I don't remember what I mentioned in that video. Too bad that was a while ago. Anyways, I'm just excited to see what's in there. That's a pretty big box, actually. Hold on, what is this? Hold on, guys, give me a second here. Oh, cool! Okay, this is neat. All right, this is a cool pop. This right here is the weirdest pop ride I've seen in a long time. Let me see if this will come out of here. Hold on. Okay, guys, here it is. This is cool. This is Cinderella's Carriage. Now, this one here is actually one that I've been meaning to pick up, so it's really cool that I didn't um, because it's really awesome that Spastic Collectible sent this over. But this is such a cool pop. So, oh, I also noticed this too. Hold on, guys. There's also a glass slipper on the back of the um, inside flap there, which is pretty cool. I've never seen that before. But yeah, this is such a different figure. And the pops, I guess, in this are considered the horses on the front of the carriage because they're like popified. Other than that, I couldn't think of what character could be in this uh, carriage here. But anyways, really, really amazing. Thank you guys so much for sending this over. This thing is crazy cool. All right, guys, well, that's everything that we're gonna be opening up today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you to Spastic Collectibles for sending this over. This thing is truly amazing. Also, what was your guys' favorite thing that I picked up in today's video, or I unboxed in today's video? Was it Jean-Michel, the Mandalorian, was it Death Watch Mandalorian, Medusa, the Pez, or Cinderella's Carriage? Let me know in the comment section below. But anyways, that's gonna do it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys wanna see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been an episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow.